2018's student speaker, Kevin Reddington. <laughs> Thank you, Provost Mars. Honored guests, family and friends, distinguished faculty, and Professor Helfand, <laughs> and especially this beloved class of 2018, congratulations because today we celebrate. We celebrate the culmination of a three-year arduous journey. And here today, in God's backyard, with our friends and family, we imprint this memory forever on our minds. But I think we would be remiss if we didn't take just a moment and think about what this place means, what it meant to us, and what it stands for. If you look at the seal of this institution, there's an inscription that reads, freely you have received, now freely give. I find this statement a little ironic in light of the fact that we had to pay tuition to go here. <laughs> but when I think about it in terms of human currency, I swell with gratitude because I know what I received at this place, I couldn't have received anywhere else. This goes back to one all year, meeting people like Dean Selena Brandt, someone who left a prestigious career at one of the best law firms in the world to come and teach one else how to write rule explanation paragraphs, which is a Mother Teresa task, let me tell you. <clears throat> it didn't matter who you were, what your class rank was, Dean Brandt always had time to help. That's a Pepperdine exclusive. But despite its academic excellence and prestige, I also remember being somewhat surprised by Pepperdine. I remember being sort of shocked when I received an email from uh, Professor Cochran asking me if I would pull a prank on the class with him. And he said he wanted to call me in class and I'd response, respond in the voice of one Donald J. Trump. I thought, well, this couldn't go wrong. So he calls me in <laughs> class and asks for the facts of a case, to which I respond, excuse me, Bob, let me just tell you, this plaintiff was a total loser, and let me just say, if I was doing this case, I would have beat him so bad, believe me. At this point, at this point he interrupted me. Very good. He interrupted me and said, I don't think those are quite the accurate facts of the case, which I said, excuse me, I know facts, I have the best facts. You are fake news. <laughs> what other school would that be allowed to happen? Yes. Ours. Of course, this year wasn't without its struggles. Uh, to go to Remedy's class this year, we had to navigate a labyrinth of construction tunnels um, through our embattled atrium, only to take down notes to the sultry tune of jackhammering. <laughs> this is why what Professor Steve Schultz did was so impressive. You see, he has two gears. The first gear is this one. Come on, Katie, isn't this exciting? Come on, guys! <laughs> and when that didn't work, he'd switch to the second gear, which is something like this. Yeah, that's exactly right. And here's the deal. Here's what you need. It was this oscillation between gears that actually made remedies interesting. And armed only with his exuberance, a bag of gummy bears, and an uncanny resemblance to Steve Carell, Steve Schultz somehow managed to make remedies feel like something other than eating dry chalk on a Tuesday morning. That is a Pepperdine exclusive. I made so many friends here. Friends that I couldn't forget if I had amnesia. I wish I could speak to all of you individually, but I do have to say something to our beloved salutatorian and Val Victorian Jordan Johnson and Emily Sauer in the words of one Albus Dumbledore. Remember, <clears throat> happiness can always be found if one only remembers to turn on the light. <laughs> Danny DeWalt and Dean Gash. I can't describe everything you two have done for me here. There just isn't time. What I can say is thank you for providing unequivocal proof that someone can be a lawyer at the top of their field and yet be a completely dedicated vessel of God's will and blessing. Even though you two are the reason I have a job, that is the greatest gift you could have given me. And there's one other person I haven't mentioned. About 500 yards from here, there's a tower with the image of a cross. The symbol of someone who gave up his life Amen. so that the world might know life mm. and life to the full. Amen. Power being given freely to rescue the powerless. Make no mistake, today you have been given power. The seal of this institution will grant you access to the most potent and consequential legal system on earth. Today you sit among future jurists, scholars, 
CEOs, senators, maybe even some presidents, there is no question that you will leave the halls of this place and enter the corridors of power. The only question is, how will you use it? Pepperdine has given you the answer to that question. The freely you have received, now freely give. I love you all. Amen.